1992, he founded the Personal Leadership Association with Johnny Johnson. After the 9-11 attacks, he co-founded Patriotism in Action with retired Colonel Stretch Dunn, now led by retired Colonel Bob and Nancy Barfield. In 2008, Life Leaders combined Dyson Leadership Institute and Personal Leadership Association. David seeks to serve more colleges, corporations, churches, community groups, and couples who wish to help their people plan and lead in life with appropriate actions which lead to quality results. So if you will, would you please welcome him with a nice big round of applause. My mom says I'm not supposed to wear a hat inside the house, but I hope I have, do I have permission to wear my cowboy hat. This is getting tough to wear, be around horse people, wear cowboy boots and jeans. You know, it's a pretty good day, isn't it? <laughs> Thank you all for, for being here uh, and giving me a chance to talk to you tonight. Here's what's going to happen. I'm going to share a few thoughts with you. Then I'm going to share some slides that I made for you today. It's going to include, guess what? some forces, four slides. And I'm going to introduce a few ideas to you that relate to something that you might not have learned in school, because I did not, and it's about the, the founding of America's Veterans Day and its connection to Alabama. And I'd like to leave with you a thought that you, when you go home tonight, you'll understand better what patriotism in action really means. So those are the main things we're going to do. I'd like to talk to you just for a couple of minutes. Come on in. Or you need to come in? Oh, you're trying to, some people are trying to get in. You're just about to. You're keeping it right I love your pledge. I called a friend of mine who helped get me back into horses. I was not quite as lucky as you, but I, my grandparents gave me a horse when I was about 10 years old, and I learned to ride. Mainly, I learned how to get bucked off and get back on, but that's mainly. And I got back into horses about five years ago. And I have two. And I, Sherry said that I could show off a little bit with my horses a little bit later. And the pictures would show those to you. But one of the ladies who got me involved is, is an equestrian like you and is, is the team captain of the Ohio Top Hands, Ginger Riles. And I called her a minute ago and said, Ginger, guess what? I'm going to speak to the, to the Top Maker Club. And she was in Spokane, Washington. She got all giddy. Oh, you got to be telling me, sure. If they don't tell you, tell them about the four H's. It's so neat. I love your, your motto. What do I call it? A motto? Pledge? Pledge. Head, heart, hands, and help. <coughs> Folks, I want to tell you, you are very, very blessed. And I know you hear this from the adults, but you can hear it from somebody else who's dedicated his professional life to helping people with right plans for life, whether an individual, team, a family, or in an organization, or learn about personal leadership. A lot of the people I coach don't learn when they're young what you're learning now about all the adults tell me about responsibility. Well, you're going to be a step ahead because of what you're doing now when you get to be 20 and 25 and 30 and 40. Isn't that right, folks? I promise you, you will. The other thing I'd like to leave you with uh, is that this idea of deciding what's important to you, what your passions are about, is very, very important because I expect that some of you have extra chores and responsibilities at home so that you have the chance to be in 4-H and maybe to have a horse or to be able to ride horses. Isn't that right? Isn't that right? Well, because you love horses, you're doing things in order to do that. And later on, you're going to have horses plus maybe family and work and other things. So focusing on what you really care about and then setting goals for being the best you can at those, learning and doing, is something that's going to be with you the rest of your lives. Well, I'm going to tell you why I'm here. Because I don't think there's anything more important than helping young people grow up to be great citizens, life leaders, patriots in action. I have a long story in about just a few seconds. Sometimes burdens can become blessings. Neither one of my parents had a chance to go to college, and I, went to, I got to go. But after one year, I ran out of money. I didn't have a car. 
So I had to do something a little different. And the short story is, I, I was one of those guys who sold Bibles to the Lord, 500 miles away from home. That summer, I saw some people with great potential not do well. And I saw some ordinary people do extraordinary things because they would not quit. And they finally got good at what they were doing. Plus, I read, read and studied about some things that it takes to be your best. So subsequently, the seeds of my calling were planted out of a hardship. So now, I want every one of you to have a written plan for life and to learn some basics about leading your life regardless whether it's horsemanship or school or whatever profession you choose. Most of your moms and dads in here are saying to themselves, I wish somebody had done that with me. Isn't that right? The other, I'm going to introduce you a little bit in this idea about patriotism and action to a man named Raymond Weeks. He's a, a man from Alabama who actually exhibited the leadership to get America's, not Alabama's, America's Veterans Day started. So I've adopted a second goal. Not only do I want you to have written plans for life, I want every one of your schools to help future generations of students to have it done by the time they graduate. So that's my goal by the time in my lifetime. The second one is, since I was writing a book called Patriotism in Action, I discovered by accident that Veterans Day was started five miles from where I went to high school. You think maybe that's something we ought to learn in school? Alabama and national history, would you think? So, that little program that I gave to you, please take it to one of your teachers and use it in school. 